World Watercolor Month is founded by Doodle Wash, and if you need further information about the event, you may check out their website or you may also visit worldwatercolormonth.com. If you need the official 2020 prompt list or the list of the challenges, you may take a screenshot or you may also visit the link that I'll be putting at the description box. The event challenges us to make one painting each day basing on the allotted word for a certain day. I of course I'm going to make one painting each day but I have decided to just compile my output and upload the process on a weekly basis. I hope you also join with me and let's just have fun using our medium. For day 4, the word is quiet. For this subject, I have chosen to paint a scenery that always gives me that feeling of quietness, sunset by the beach. The colors of Windsor Newton that I chose are quinacridone magenta, rose carthame, Windsor yellow, and cyanine blue. These are primary colors and I believe these colors can easily achieve the mood that I want. Sunsets give me peace. It allows me to focus in its beauty even if I am viewing it from a busy city or a crowded beachfront. You know that feeling that you couldn't get distracted when you get that focus? As if you were hypnotized. That's it. It's therapeutic. It's priceless. It's quiet. For day 5, the challenge is favorite color. As an artist of many different influences and preferences, it is actually quite hard to think of a favorite color. But for this day's challenge and after doing day 5, the color I can think of is the hue we see when the sand and the sea meet. Teal. This energizing and pleasant color sparks joy, but at the same time relaxes our tired eyes. For the fusion of the sand and the sea water, the colors that I chose are Lunar Red Rock, Buff Titanium, Cobalt Teal Blue, and Cobalt Blue. All four colors are opaque, but I don't mind for I am using them in a watery and a washy technique. If you do not have these cobalt colors, you may use other blues and you may add Thalo Green or Viridian to your blues to make it turquoise. Add white to get an opaque teal color. I really miss the beach so much. I think after the pandemic, the beach is the first place I'd want to go to. We need vitamin C, right? Flow is the word for day 5. Flow is an important aspect in watercolor. Some artists want a flowy paint behavior, while some don't. I personally want paints that flow well to match my style. And so for this day's challenge, I am visualizing flow with the use of a watercolor line known for its incredible flow and movement. Ladies and gentlemen, Core Watercolors. This paint flows so well it fits perfectly to dreamy skies, to running rivers, to bokeh rainbows. Thank you to Aquazole Binder. I haven't reviewed this brand yet, but we'll definitely do it soon, so please stay tuned. Colors used are the Ultimate Primaries, Quinacridone Magenta, Hansa Yellow Light, and Thalo Blue Green Shade. Day 7's word is free. Nothing is more symbolic for the word free than a flying bird. Growing up, I had caged doves, sparrows, and mayas as pets. I took care of and fed them really well and they really made a great company. Having them as pets taught me many things like being responsible, being like a parent and so on. I was happy but it was a different feeling when I finally decided to set them free and fly. It was a different happiness, a feeling that also made myself free from the guilt of holding other creatures right to be free just like me. This is no judgment to other responsible bird owners as we have our different valid purposes and capabilities. This is just my personal take on the line, wings are made to fly. The colors that I chose are quinacridone magenta, hansa yellow medium, cobalt teal blue, cobalt blue, and lunar red rock. Day 8 is fall. The fall word I am choosing is the one synonymous to autumn. The fall colors I am selecting are Permanent Alizarin Crimson, 
rose parting, aureole lin, olive green, and French ultramarine. As someone living in a country with only two seasons, which are dry and wet, it is very interesting to experience autumn. I got the chance to experience this lovely season when I went to Barcelona in November to December of 2019. Fall was about to end that time so it was really cold or at least only for me who's an island guy but I really enjoyed the mood. The colors were warm and the sceneries were all picturesque. It was a calm and inviting season. I remember picking some maple leaves on the street to bring home as my free souvenirs but unluckily most of those leaves cracked when they dried so I was just only able to bring home one. Luckily, it remained intact as a sweet remembrance of the unforgettable Barcelona. Hi guys, it's 7 p.m. already here in Barcelona and I'm still here, still being overwhelmed by Sagrada Familia. For day 9, the word is fruit and for fruit, I'm giving you what I believe is the most popular one. In fact, its name is always associated with the first letter of the English alphabet. It is also in the healthy code that recommends the consumption of a piece of it each day to keep our doctors away. And it's also the name of a very famous multinational technology company from US that makes iPhone. Yes, that's Apple. The ever crunchy Apple. Gila, Granny Smith, Fuji, Red Delicious, we all love apples. But for this day, I decided to paint a Honeycrisp because of its interesting color and also the colors allow me to reuse the leftover paints from day 8. Remember, be healthy, have an apple each day. Fast is the word for day 10. This is another intangible thing so it's a real challenge to think of a subject to paint. But whenever I hear the word fast, it sparks me of only one thing, time. Time flies so fast and that makes it truly valuable. Time is gold as the saying goes. In watercolor, time is important. We need to be aware about how much time it takes for our layers to dry, how fast our colors fade, and even how fast our colors flow, right? I am not a watch person as you see on my review videos but I am painting this wristwatch of mine as a symbol of how time flies so fast. This is a reminder that we need to be always on the lookout on things that matter to us the most because time runs so fast. Am I being too fast? So that's all for our day 4 to 10 of the World Watercolor Month. If you are not subscribed yet, please do subscribe to my channel and please also don't forget to like and share this video to share support. Please stay tuned because we are gonna have more surprises in the coming weeks. Again, thank you for watching and see you this Sunday.